The Duchess of Cambridge flaunted her bold shorter cob hairstyle this evening at the Natural History Museum as she joined Sir David at Tunborough to unveil the new blue whale skeleton. Kate, 35, wore a pale blue dress for the glittering gala and although she was seen without any extravagant jewellery or a tiara she still managed to steal the show. The Duchess showed off her fresh glossy new hairstyle which is noticeably shorter than her earlier looks. The Duchess of Cambridge flaunted her bold shorter cob hairstyle this evening at the Natural History Museum as she joined Sir David at Tunborough to unveil the new blue whale skeleton Kate, 35 wore a pale blue dress for the glittering gala and although she was seen without any extravagant jewellery or a tiara she still managed to steal the show Kate sparkled as she chatted with Sir David at Tunborough and Sir Michael Dixon to unveil the new blue whale at the Natural History Museum the skeleton now on display in Hints Hall is from a whale that became stranded in 1891 inches Wexford Harbour, Ireland Ten years after the museum opened in South Kensington the Duchess showed off her fresh hairstyle which is noticeably shorter than her earlier looks. The Duchess, who is a patron of the museum and the famous naturalist are among the first to see the 25-meter-long skeleton suspended from the ceiling in the revamped Hints Hall. The Duchess of Cambridge first unveiled her new look shorter hair at Wimbledon earlier this month. She also opted for a youthful open-toed high-heeled shoe with a purple clutch purse. Kate's gown is a 37-stretch crepe cream dress by designer Thornton Brigazzi. She wore 50 scallop suede sandals by Prada. The Duchess first unveiled her new look shorter hair at Wimbledon earlier Earlier this month, the new hairstyle, around six inches off the overall length, created a real buzz and was soon dubbed the Cobb. The Duchess, who is a patron of the museum, and the famous naturalist are among the first to see the 25-meter-long skeleton suspended from the ceiling in the revamped Hints Hall. The whale skeleton has replaced Dippy the Diplodocus which first went on display there in 1979. When the museum announced it was dismantling the dinosaur display, 14,000 people signed the petition to stop the move. The Duchess first unveiled her new look shorter hair at Wimbledon earlier this month. The new hairstyle, around 6 inches off the overall length, created a real buzz and was soon dubbed the Cobb Kate's gown is a 37-stretch crepe cream dress by designer Thornton Brigazzi. She wore 50 scallop suede sandals by Prada. The whale skeleton has replaced Dippy the Diplodocus which first went on display there in 1979 when the museum announced it was dismantling the dinosaur display. 14,000 people signed the petition to stop the move. The Duchess will also tour Hints Hall 10 other new displays chosen from the museum collection of more than 80 million specimens. Kate, 35 wore a pale blue dress for tonight's event and although she was seen without any extravagant jewelry or a tiara she still managed to steal the show hints. Hall will reopen to the public on Friday following six months of refurbishment, and its displays will include a dinosaur fossil, and 120 million year old Nectalosaurus, found on the Isle of Wight in 1917. She also opted for an open toed purple high heeled shoe with a matching clutch purse. Kate's gown is a 37 stretch crepe cream dress by designer Thornton Brigazzi. The Duchess of Cambridge also delivered a short speech at the unveiling of the blue whale skeleton at the Natural History Museum. These displays aim to cover the history of Earth, and included a 4.5 billion year old meteorite, as well as the full skeleton of a mastodon. A distant relative of the mammoth Hints Hall will reopen to the public on Friday following six months of refurbishment, and its displays will include a dinosaur fossil, and 120 million year old Nectalosaurus, found on the Isle of Wight in 1917 but the museum went ahead, and soon the famous fossil will be going on a nationwide tour of museums and galleries, including a stint at Norwich Cathedral. In 2020, the Duchess will also tour Hints Hall 10 other new displays chosen from the museum collection of more than 80 million specimens. These displays aim to cover the history of Earth, and included a 4.5 billion year old meteorite, as well as the full skeleton of a mastodon, a distant relative of the mammoth. Hints Hall will reopen to the public on Friday following six months of refurbishment, and its displays will include a dinosaur fossil and 120 million year old Nectalosaurus, found on the Isle of Wight in 1917. Dippy replacement, the blue whale, is the largest known animal on Earth FTER coming close to extinction. The animal became protected under international law in 1966, after which the blue whale population slowly began to increase. Dippy replacement, the blue whale, is the largest known animal on Earth after coming close to extinction. 
the animal became protected under international law in 1966, after which the blue whale population slowly began to increase. Last night Kate joined the royal family at a state banquet for the King and Queen of Spain. She has drawn criticism for playing it safe in the fashion stakes, but on Thursday night the Duchess of Cambridge proved she is not afraid of pushing the boundaries as she attended a glittering state banquet held in honor of the King and Queen of Spain. Last night Kate donned a revealing pink Marcus address as she joined the royal family at a state banquet for the King and Queen of Spain. Kate, 35, looked sensational in a dusty pink custom-made Marcus gown as she joined Prince William, the Queen the Duke of Edinburgh and other senior royals to welcome King Philippe VI and his wife Queen Letizia to Buckingham Palace on Wednesday night. The breathtaking floor-length dress featured a plunging V-neck and scalloped lace, which was a surprisingly revealing choice for the Duchess in a departure from the conservative cuts she usually favors. Despite her unusually daring choice, Kate ensured the spotlight remained firmly on the guest of honor lingering in the background away from photographers as Queen Letizia took up a spot front and center. Kate drew further attention to her décolletage with an eye-catching diamond and ruby drop necklace, the ruby bucharin bandeau, which once belonged to the Queen Mother. The jewels fell just inches above the lowest point of the v-neck. The garment's sheer bell sleeves added to its drama, which was offset by its soft color and delicate lace fabric. In keeping with royal tradition, Kate donned a tiara for the state dinner. The diamond and pearl Cambridge lover's knot tiara, which she wore to her first state banquet last year, was a piece beloved by William's late mother, Diana, Princess of Wales. Kate finished the look with a favorite pair of diamond and pearl drop earrings. The gown is markedly more daring than the dresses Kate chose to wear to her last two evening events, which both took place in March this year. Kate, 35 looked sensational in a dusty pink custom-made Marcus gown and donned a tiara for the state dinner. The diamond and pearl Cambridge lover's knot tiara was a piece beloved by William's late mother, Diana, Princess of Wales.